So Jon Snow is dead, Davos Seaworth is stuck at Castle Black where he thinks he'll probably be killed by Alicer Thorne, but he still seems to have Melisandre on his side, at least for the moment, and she's got crazy witch shit she can do. In the books at this point, Davos is given lots of interesting stuff to do, but none of it has made it into the show yet, although I do look forward to seeing how he gets out of the predicament he's in. Jon was killed because of his friendliness with the wildlings, so Davos probably wants to get some wildlings on his side. Sansa and Theon managed to get away from the Boltons with the help of Brienne and Podrick, and with the help of that magical edit where Sansa was like, I can't cross the river, then it cuts to a shot of them on the other side of the river. This bit is quite different from the books. In A Dance with Dragons, Sansa is still safe with Littlefinger, and Theon runs into Stannis, who's still alive, instead of Brienne. I was sad to see Doran Martell be killed, mainly because I like Alexander Siddig, but I also like the Sand Snakes because they are badass, and there's obviously going to be a badass standoff between the Sand Snakes and the Lannisters at some point. Hopefully Hopefully that will involve Robert Strong because that guy is also badass. The stuff with Daenerys and the Dothraki is getting way ahead of what's in the book so far, and I don't know what to think of that yet. I don't like seeing her reduced to helplessness again. She's so much more interesting when she's in charge of shit. And although the stuff with Daenerys is ahead of the books, the stuff going on back at Marine is still behind. There's all kinds of bad shit that's probably going to go down at Marine at some point, but that still seems a bit far off. Varys isn't with Tyrion in Marine in A Dance with Dragon. Dragons. Instead, he's back at King's Landing doing other sneaky shit. I hope that bit gets worked into the show, but it might be unnecessary. So what's up with Melisandre turning into an old woman? What was the point of that? Is this a disguise? Is she planning on just walking around like that and hoping nobody will recognize her? I guess that's what was implied, but that was left very ambiguous. And it's also ambiguous as to whether the young Melisandre or the old Melisandre is her real appearance. The consensus seems to be that the old Melisandre is the real Melisandre. And of course, what everyone is wondering is whether she's going to find some way to magically raise Jon Snow from the dead. When she was looking over his body, she said, I saw him in the flames fighting at Winterfell. So either he's coming back to life, or the flames are full of shit. 